All right, here's how you do uh, your post lab assignment. So, first thing we need to do is the, show the animation of uh, temperature dependence of black body radiation. So we define K, Boltzmann's constant, 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23rd joules per Kelvin. Planck's constant is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules per second. The nanometer is 10 to the negative 9 meters. Speed of light is 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Right, so let's put all of these constants up here. Just like, just line them all up. Format, align regions across. All right, so now let's define our spectral energy density. Rho is a function of temperature and lambda is equal to a times pi plus p control g times h times c space bar space bar space bar slash so that's divided by lambda oops sorry and this l control g which is pi five space bar space bar times one over e raised to the oops e raised to the power h times c Space bar over lambda g times k times t space bar space bar space bar space bar minus one. All right. So now we define we graph that insert graph x y plot. We're going to define our graph from lambda starting from 100 nanometers steps of 1 nanometer, so the next number will be 101 nanometers, all the way to 3,000 nanometers. Okay, so I'm going to now plot a uh, row of T lambda versus lambda in nanometers. Okay, uh, it doesn't know what T is, so let's define our T. T is 5,000 Kelvin, and there's your plot. And let's put this in correct units, specify the units here. So divide by the unit for spectral energy density is energy per unit wavelength, which we're going to use nanometers, per unit volume, meters, raised to the power of three. Okay, so this peaks at 0.001. Uh, if we're going to make an animation, we want to make sure our scale is fixed, so we have to override the the uh, scale. MathCAD uh, automatically scales your graph, so we're going to set this to be 0 0.0006, and we're going to set this one down here to 0. And there's your uh, black body spectrum. Now, we are going to say that we're going to animate it. We're going to explore what happens to this spectrum as the temperature drops. And we're going to drop it every frame in our animation. We're going to drop our temperature by 10 Kelvin. So we're going to subtract from, from 5,000 minus the frame variable times 10 Kelvin. Okay. So frame by default is initially set to zero, so our original temperature is going to be 5,000 Kelvin. We format this. No decimal. 5,000 Kelvin. So now let's see what happens to this spectrum as temperature drops from 5,000 Kelvin. So we're going to uh, click on view animate ok 
Okay, so let's do 100 frames. So 10 times 100, that would drop it by 1,000 a thousand Kelvin. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's do, let's do 500 frames, 10 frames per second. Okay, so if I animate this. Okay, so let's animate. As you can see, as the temperature drops. your black body spectrum. Okay, oops. Okay, and there's an error at the end because you have your down to zero. So this is your animation right here. You can see the total intensity drops and you can also see that that peak wavelength is shifting to longer wavelength at lower temperature. Okay, so let the drop temperature drop some more. That's what happens. Now, on number two for your post lab assignment, you're supposed to label this peak right here, okay, lambda max. And so let's define where that peak point is, okay. Your lambda max, we know, is a function of temperature is equal to 2.9 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters Kelvin over temperature. So that's lambda max as a function of temperature. And so what we can do over here is add a point. So on this vertical axis, we add the value of rho at lambda max, so comma, rho, okay, R, control G, at temperature T for whatever lambda max is at that temperature. So lambda control G dot max at, what the, at that temperature. Okay. And then divided by the unit for rho, which is joules per nanometer per meter cube. And down here, we're just going to show, plot that point. So you just say uh, lambda control g dot max at temperature T in nanometers. And you can see it's not showing anything. It should show up blue on your scale. So you double click on this. You want trace number two, the blue trace, to be... Uh, you want to show an uh, an O on there, okay? So let's see what happens. You can apply, it shows up right there. Now if you want to emphasize that that is where your peak is, over here you can draw a stem. And so this tells you this is the lambda max and that's the value of rho at lambda max. Okay, so now we can redo our animation and see what happens. View, animate. So let's just do uh, 200 frames this time. Okay, so there. Highlight the part of the text you want to animate and then hit animate. Okay, and there it is. That's an animation showing you, if you want, let's actually show the value of lambda max as this is happening, okay? So if you want, you can show lambda max equals at temperature T, okay? And let's put that in nanometers. Let's show the value of rho at lambda max at that temperature. Uh, oh, rho at temperature T at lambda max at that temperature. So let's put this temperature here. Oops. Let's line all of these up across. Right there. 
and the unit for spectral energy density is joules per nanometer per meter cube. Okay. Of course, you can have that per meter to the fourth if you want to. And if you want, you can make this um, a format for this to be just, uh, let's say, decimal, five decimal places. Five, four, um, make them six decimal places. Okay. So now, let's read to our animation view and rate uh, 200 frames. There it is. So as your temperature drops, your lambda max shifts to longer wavelength and your peak intensity is dropping. Your spectral energy density is dropping. Okay. So if you want to save that animation, hit save as and then specify the file and you can upload that to YouTube. Uh, set your view set privacy settings unlisted and you can just send me the link so I can see your work.